So there's a lot of things that make us want to overeat, snack way too much, that really interfere with intermittent fasting. You have the flavorings of the food, especially processed foods that people have addictions to, MSG, of course, sugar, empty calories that don't have the nutrients that satisfy us. People eat because they're bored, there's stress. But there's one more thing that I actually forgot to mention in other videos, and that has to do with distractions. I'm talking about when you eat and you watch TV at the same time, or you're on your cell phone, the awareness of, okay, I had enough, I'm done, I'm full, uh, tends to be interfered with when you get distracted. So there's a couple different brain centers that control taste through your tongue, and then also smell, which by the way, is like 80% of taste. And so this is why if you have a cold, your sense of taste is, pre is pretty much shot. So you have these receptors that are picking up information, cause you to be hungry, eat, and then the nutrient feedback loops are supposed to come back and turn off that mechanism so you're full, so you can stop eating. So there's a couple of things that you need to do if you're in that situation. Number one, you need to have, of course, not have that junk food available in your house, very important, so you're not tempted. You also have to be, just increase your awareness of the perception of how full you are and how satisfied you are. But of course, it's even more important to avoid those empty carbohydrates that will just never turn off the hunger because they're empty, and but they're very flavorful, so you'll keep eating them. Um, also, uh, chewing longer is another thing you can do. There was even this uh, gentleman uh, who I read about uh, a while ago, who I think, I think his name was Fletcher, who was teaching at that time the most important thing to maintain your weight and improve your digestion is to chew. So he would recommend that you needed to chew a hundred times before you swallowed. That would definitely help you be more satisfied because you're increasing your awareness of just chewing longer versus just inhaling it and not really even chewing it. Uh, you also have uh, buying nuts in their shells. Like let's say you had walnuts, right? And you're gonna snack on walnuts, but you had to deshell them. That would be a barrier that would add more time and of course, at the very minimum, you can have the pistachios with the shells, which take a little bit longer versus just the straight de-shelled nuts where you're just like shoveling them in your mouth. Oh, how about chopsticks, right? I know if I had to use chopsticks, I would go hungry, right? They're very complex. I don't know how people use them. And also if let's say you had dinner and you're gonna have a keto snack right after or dessert, uh, really set a limit of how much you're going to allow yourself to eat. Because if you're getting distracted, whether it's a social event, and then all of a sudden you realize, oh my gosh, I just had way too many. And now you're bloated and you're congested. And the next morning you wake up hungry because you ate way too much and it affected your blood sugars. So the motto of this video is mindful eating, keeping your awareness very high. Hey, before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it, and here's why. Here's you, here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself, and so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today.